So kidney cancer is made up of uh, different varieties. Uh, histologically, can be classified as clear cell. Uh, there are papillary tumors, there are chromophobe tumors, and a number of other less common subtypes. But even within each of the subtypes, there are really a myriad variants um, based on the specific genes that are mutated in a particular tumor. So there are not two tumors that are the same. Um, now, there is uh, a scientific interest in, in understanding what are the genes that are mutated in a tumor. However, today there is limited actionability. So there is not much that we can do about that genetic information. The context of clear cell renal carcinoma, we can um, uh, determine whether the tumor is likely to be more aggressive or less aggressive based on the presence of BAB1 and PBR1 pbr one mutations, um, and in some contexts, if there is an ALK uh, translocation event, um, those patients, which is a very small subset of patients, may benefit from ALK-directed therapy. So what I would say about the genetics of kidney cancer is that uh, we've made a lot of progress. We, we understand the genes that are responsible for causing kidney cancer. We've been able to develop mouse models with the same gene mutations that we see in humans. Um, it is of general interest for, for an educated audience to understand the mutations, but, but there, is limited, there are limited things that we can do with that information today. When we talk about the genetics, there can be two different components. We can be speaking about the genetics of the tumors uh, that are sporadic, that arise uh, typically in patients during their sixth decade of life, or the genetics of tumors that uh, may be unrelated to familial predisposition. So what I have been discussing so far focuses on the genetics of sporadic tumors. These are the tumors that develop later in life. Um, and um, those analyses may be done at diagnosis. There is another group of patients, maybe about 5 to 10% of patients, who may have an inherited predisposition to develop kidney cancer. And in those individuals, what gets tested uh, is the blood, right? We test the blood to determine whether there is something that the parents have passed to the offspring uh, that predisposes them to develop kidney cancer. And for those particular patients, the telltale signs of familial kidney cancer are development of kidney cancer at an early age, development of uh, multiple tumors, or tumors in both kidneys, or infrequent histologies. All of these factors are factors that um, suggest that there could be uh, a familial predisposition. Of course, if there are multiple family members that have been um, diagnosed or that have had kidney cancer, that's also another telltale sign for a familial predisposition. And anybody that, uh, that uh, he finds uh, himself or herself in a situation like this should discuss this with their urologist or medical oncologist and should probably be referred to a clinical genetics clinic for consideration of genetic testing.